hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's okay. It's supposed to happen. See? Clean room. All right. Clean. But just go in. All right? Yeah. Yeah. That's him. That's Ralph. Hi. Who are you? You don't belong here. I'm Larry Benson. You supplied my division with some microchips. Oh, yes. Larry Benson. The X-1000. Worked out better than you dreamed, didn't they? Actually, there was a, a little bit of a problem. Then it's with your software. Uh, I, I don't think there's a problem with the software, Ralph. Oh, you don't? The X-1000 is a masterpiece. Imagine a microchip sophisticated enough to control the guidance systems of ballistic missiles. Imagine it can be used to instantly upgrade any system that it's plugged into, like a smart drug for machines. Then, imagine it can learn. What are you talking about? Artificial intelligence? No, actual intelligence. It's no wonder those Philistines at the Pentagon couldn't appreciate it. One little flaw and they scrapped the whole project. Aha, so there is a flaw in the chips. Well, they're a little bit sensitive to EMP. EMP? Electromagnetic pulse? Yeah, you know, the kind generated by the detonation of a nuclear device. I doubt even the toy industry has become quite that competitive. They said adequate shielding wasn't cost effective. Did the Medici's ever tell Michelangelo Sorry, Mike, but marble's not really cost-effective. Here's a bag of cement. I think not. Gesundheit. Thank you. Look, there really shouldn't be any problem, right? Just because the chips can learn. Am I not being clear? They can learn within the boundaries of their primary programming. Whatever the core programming, the X-1000 enhances it from within. So if you've got a problem, it's in your software. I right, quick impression for you now. Jimmy Cagney.